I'm going to make sure that now 11 weeks since we lost 19 kids and their two teachers shot to death with a weapon originally designed for use in combat, legally purchased by an 18-year-old who did not try to obtain one when he was 16 or 17, but followed the law that's on the books, ladies and gentlemen, that says that you can buy not one, you can buy two or more if you want to, AR-15s, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, and take that weapon that was originally designed for use on the battlefields in Vietnam to penetrate an enemy soldier's helmet at 500 feet and knock him down dead up against kids at five feet. It may be funny to you, motherfucker, but it's not funny to me, okay? Peter Rourke is running for governor down in Texas. And of course, uh, at a campaign stop, he's talking about the devastating tragedy that happened out in Uvalde where all those children were murdered yet again in school. So as he pointed out uh, the lethality of this type of gun, as he knelt down there and pointed out, someone decided to chuckle about it because that's funny. He went down on a knee and he said the gun shoots and kills people. That's funny. And Bill, uh, he responded the way that you could imagine. So this campaign event, uh, it has gone viral, at least this one exchange did. It racked up 3 million views by early on uh, just today, just hours after he wrapped this campaign stop in Mineral Wells. In a town some 40 miles west of the Dallas Fort Worth area in 260 uh, north of Uvalde. So he wasn't even that necessarily that close to Uvalde. It just points out the fact that this is something that's gripped everyone. But someone decided to sit in that audience and think, hey, this is funny. Because of course, everyone there isn't always in support, which is great, which is fine. Maybe you can actually get your, um, you know, maybe someone can change your mind. Maybe you can be galvanized in your own beliefs because of the craziness that's being said. Instead, it's just a chuckle. And then, of course, getting called out. He tweeted this out after the event, though. He says, nothing is more serious to me. Then getting justice for the families in Uvalde and stopping this from ever happening again. He's also been, um, he said personally that he's passionately advocates for stronger gun control measures in response to this. Again, which makes people always say, hey, these guys are weak. Look at these weak need libs. Don't you need a gun? You need another gun, another gun to solve the first two guns. So that's what he said about that. Wednesday's night, uh, Town Hall in Mineral Wells, O'Rourke promised supporters, quote, common sense gun control if he's elected governor. He mentioned raising the minimum age for buying an AR style rifle from 18 to 21, implementing universal background checks in Texas, and enacting a red flag law legislation that allows judges to order law enforcement to seize guns, uh, gun owners' firearms if convinced they pose a danger to themselves or others. That's what everyone could possibly be upset about, at least maybe the, the gun rights folks uh, upset about that being a possibility. Completely forgot about those kids that were murdered. Now again, uh, Beto's cursing, big news, right? Beto's cursing, which actually I'm on the side of cool, great Beto's cursing, but he's cursing because this is what everyone else is thinking as they hear people consistently, consistently troll over something as serious as this until it happens to them. This was tried back, I think it was 2018 when uh, Ted Cruz was going after Beto for cursing. Uh, you'll be able to tell from the old school graphics here from the old show, let's mm -hmm. watch this. Beto O'Rourke wants to be a senator. F that. So he's showing up across Texas, sharing his wit. How f***ed up is that? His wisdom. <laughs> what the f*** are these guys doing? And his character. I really f***ed up. If Beto shows up in your town, maybe keep the kids at home. Because this is f***ed up. Beto O'Rourke, he's showing the f*** up. Ads like that are meant to shame folks in from saying certain things or um, cursing because they're grown ass adults. And maybe work to a degree, but hopefully that's changed enough that people, as you saw the response to what we just saw there, Francesca, uh, folks are tired of it. And hearing the F word isn't something that's gonna make someone say, oh, I was gonna vote for him, but he said the F word. <laughs> Actually, those kids should have died. It reminds me of the, um, I can't remember where in Florida, but the sort of retirement community when they were like, "Yay, white!" There was like old people going like, "White power!" And another the other old people were other old people were like yelling at them. They were like Biden supporters versus Trump supporters, and they said the f word, and they were like, "Watch your mouth!" And like, meanwhile, <laughs> the person next to them is saying like, "White power!" And you're like, "What do you?" Anyway, there's a long way to go to say, look. Yes, yeah, saying the F word, dropping the F bomb in this case was absolutely necessary. And in case you wonder whether it was necessary, look at the response from the people in that crowd. Getting to their feet and clapping for him just shows you that when Democrats fight, 
they actually get a lot of popularity. People like them. Oh my God, who would have thought that when you don't play it safe, when you don't keep it mealy mouth, when you don't keep it sort of like flowery and weird and sort of unclear about where you stand and nah, 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 nah. like, no, when you just say it's not funny, mf -er, and like you put someone in their place, they like it. And again, look, you gotta take a little bit of a page out of Trump's book. Say what you will about him. The politics are completely the opposite. But the guy is saying exactly what he feels. What he feels is diet coke, white ethno state, <laughs> you know, French like like he feels other things. But you have to understand the way the reason people respond to him is because there's a genuineness there. And so God, look at that. Like just like, straight up. More. Say what you feel because most people are feeling it. If this is what's easy, if you're right, just say it. And people are like, hey, you know what? That makes sense. If it makes sense, say it. What are we afraid of? We're too busy worried about what the other folks are gonna twist it as. Yes. Hey, if they're lying, we can call that out. 